All right, well, in just a few weeks, players will be heading to the green to help raise funds for cancer patients. The Drive is a charity golf tournament that takes place this May, and it will be one of the Prisma Health Foundation's signatures fundraising events. Joining us today with more, we have uh, Dargan Davis. She is with the Midlands, excuse me, the Prisma Health Midlands Foundation, and we have board chair Jacob Bourne joining us to tell us more about some of the opportunities that you can still take part in with this event. Thank you both so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. It is Thank such you. a pleasure to have you. So I want to get into the details just a little bit. So this tournament takes place in May. Yes. Yes. And, so and you still have some opportunities for some folks? We sure do. Yeah, the Drive um, Golf Tournament, which is presented by AFLAC, um, it's put on by Prisma Health Midlands Foundation. It's one of our signature events. Will be Thursday, May 16th at Fort Jackson Golf Club. Um, it's going to be just a full day of golf and fun. We have a barbecue lunch that kicks off oh, first nice. that everyone can participate in. And then at 1230, uh, we'll have our shotgun start along with the welcome ceremony. Um, but uh, all the proceeds go to benefit Prisma Health Cancer Institute of the Midlands. And so the funds stay right here in this community and help oncology patients. And this is what year for you all? This is our 34th year. Wow. And we've raised over $4.7 million throughout those 34 years, all staying right here in the Midlands community. And we do still have opportunities for volunteers to participate that day. We have um, opportunities for teams of four. If you're a golfer, we'd love to have you join us on Thursday, May 16th. And then we also have some sponsorship opportunities all still available. Perfect, and we'll make sure our viewers know where to go for those details as well. And Jacob, you've actually participated in this as a chair, and but you also have a very personal connection. Right, yeah, um, I did play last year. It was a lot of fun. Um, we did have some weather issues that Dargan did a fantastic job um, negotiating, getting everybody back out there. But um, yeah, I'm the chair this year, and I do uh, think that my personal story is a good explanation or example of really what the board does. Um, I'm a pediatric cancer survivor, and um, I'm proud to, to say that I received all of my care, um, you know, surgery, chemo, treatment right here in Columbia at Prisma Health Richland. And at the time, my parents and I lived in Blythewood, which was about, you know, 10, 15 miles away, and that's huge. Yeah. Um, and so I'm actually even happier to report I'm one of those success stories because of the care team that I had at Prisma Health Richland. Um, and I've been in remission for over 20 years. Wow. Now, life is kind of funny because two years before I got diagnosed, my family and I lived in Springfield, Illinois. Now, while Springfield is the capital of Illinois, there was not um, a cancer team there. There was no oncology center. And so if we still lived in Illinois, my parents would have been, you know, we would have traveled back and forth to Chicago or to St. Louis for me to get the chemo and the cancer treatment that I needed. Um, I didn't have to do that. My parents didn't have that burden placed on them because we were right here and our cancer team was here. And so you think about the mental, emotional, physical, financial burdens of something like that that places on families. The board and Dargan and all of our staff are really dedicated to raising money to make sure that cancer patients in South Carolina don't have to go to Atlanta, don't yeah. have to go to Charleston, don't go, you know, they don't have to go to Charlotte. They can get everything they need right here. And so that's why I think that not only is this just a great cause year round, um, it's very important, and, and the tournament that Dargan has put together is such a great event. I played last year, and so if you have anybody in your family that likes to play golf or that has been, you know, personally touched by this, you know, terrible disease, come out. It's a great cause. You know, lose some golf balls and let's make some money for a worthy cause. Yeah. I love it, and thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It's so touching, and I'm so I'm so happy for you that you have been in remission. And um, there are so many families out there that have similar stories, um, and we'll be able to help them. You know, there's so many people will be able to help. So we want to make sure we pull those details up. And I thank the both of you for joining us today with these details. We'll be sure to have this on our website, SodaCityLive.com. Um, but in the meantime, the details are right there on your screen. This will be again at the Fort Jackson Golf Club. Um, this will be Thursday, May. 16th and what time is tea time for that day? Uh, tea time will start at 1230. Okay, so. this is the afternoon tournament. Yes, yes. So you don't have to wake up too early. That's right. <laughs> Just to stretch and get ready. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more. 